a world class finance job and a fast growing career if that is your aim and also you want to work for government sector then there is obvious confusion between rbi and sebi rbi recruits at great b level and in case of sebi it is great a level but you must be knowing now it is how many ipo they are coming and what more responsibility sebi is taking up so i am going to discuss these two most exciting job subscribe to the channel right now press the bell icon you already know that no other place you get the kind of faculty member the kind of content and the kind of engagement which you get at iexambi and there is this offer of 38% discount for first 50 enrollment of new batch and also if you are a paid user of iexambi you can earn by referral i am coming to the discussion of rbi versus sebi job so first you understand so rbi the regulator of banking system banking and payment system if i tell you how much deposit is there in all banks 1 lakh 50 thousand crore rupees so this is approximate number including all scheduled commercial bank and urban cooperative bank if you compare that with what sebi is regulating so sebi main money is there in the mutual fund i am not talking about the money which is there also in the shares directly which you and me are investing say for primary market and secondary market the money with the mutual fund is 31 lakh crore this is just one comparison right so but it gives you a perspective that when it comes to the overall funds and this is i will come to the, the, the number in usa so you will see that in us market the amount with the mutual fund is much more than the deposit in the banking system that is what is going to happen as the country become more advanced people understand finance that is why i am saying you sebi's responsibilities are going to increase with time rbi is there to protect the interest of depositors and sebi is they are to protect the interest of investors you know what is the difference between a depositor and an investor so you are going to deposit a money in a bank another definition of a deposit is uncollateralized loan loan who is taking that loan a bank is taking that loan and you are giving that loan without asking for any collateral because bank is an entity which has got this license from rbi license to accept deposit so then you are a depositor and rbi's responsibility is to protect interest of the depositors but in case of sevi investor suppose you invest in any company you must have seen so many ipos paytm ipo nike ipo before that zomato ipo so many companies are coming out ipo so who gives the approval sevi you are an investor there so what happens in case of investment there is a platform which is called exchange right so when you are buying something so from this exchange you are buying whether it is say for example your exchange is bsc or mumbai stock exchange or national stock exchange where you can buy or sell the shares so when you are buying the shares you are directly buying the shares of say paytm or it may be tata motors whatever you want to buy tata reliance so you are buying these shares directly but in case of the bank so there is a bank a separate institution you are giving the money to the bank then bank is giving loan to again bank loan may be there to tata or paytm but this entity bank here in between guaranteeing you the return the interest rate on the deposit so that's the major difference here in case of sebi investors interest to be protected interest investor can also be public or it can be institution same way deposit also can come from another institution in india if you see how deposits are increasing deposits are growing slightly old figure that's why that today's number i told you about 150000 crore deposits are growing but if you compare the growth in assets with mutual fund aum of mutual fund that is growing faster while in case of the usa if you see the aum with the mutual funds is bigger than the deposits in the banking system so why i am doing this comparison because as people start understanding finance so if you think maybe 100 years back people were not even depositing money in the bank 
with more financial inclusion, with more accessibility to the banking system, people started depositing money in the bank and also taking loan. And slowly, with more understanding, more financial products are reaching to the masses. So in India, this securities market is regulated by SEBI. And in case of USA, it is SEC. It is an exam question also, Securities and Exchange Commission. And in case of Central Bank, here it is RBI and there it is Fed Reserve. Okay, so coming to RBI versus SEBI. If you understand these things, then you can understand where you are going to make your career if you have both the option. And also you will appreciate that both of these options are extremely, extremely great career if you have interest in finance and you are looking for a government job. So first let me tell you about RBI. It's a central bank. We understand central banks means the entity which takes care of the monetary policy the monetary authority of the country monetary authority means supply of the money in the country it established in 1935 in addition to monetary authority rbi is the regulator and supervisor of the financial system understand this point also very well so what happens in some countries this financial regulation means giving bank licenses that is the regulation part bank and nbfcs and supervision that they are doing the work as per the instructions of RBI. So both work here are with RBI. RBI is manager of the foreign exchange. We know we keep on reading this news our foreign exchange has increased. So on behalf of the government of India, RBI is managing the foreign exchange of the country and RBI is issuing currency. So you will get confused between monetary authority and currency. So currency is about the issuance of the physical cash notes even coins are also issued by rbi minted by government of india but monetary authority means say decrease in the interest rate rbi changes repo crr slr that increases the money supply but currency is about the physical issuance of the currency there is a separate department in rbi for that it's called Department of Currency Management, Regulator and Supervisor of the Payment and Settlement System. So, this is additional. This thing came in 2007 with the passage of Payment and Settlement Act. So, in this, RBI is also regulating the entire payment space. So, in payment space, one side it is bank. Bank, what they do? They accept the deposit and lend. In payment, it is like, say, Paytheme wallet. Very simple to understand. Or Google Pay. They will also have to take lessons from RBI for this. Then RBI is a banker to government of India, state government and all banks. RBI also does developmental role, say, promoting financial inclusion. Now compare that with SEBI. SEBI is nonetheless regulator of the securities and capital market. Because these markets started developing late, so SEBI also came in existence in 1992. Promotion and development of the securities market Still, we read a lot about that bond market for corporate. So, in bond market, there is government of India also issued bond. We call it GSEC, government of India securities. That bonds are actually managed by RBI, RBI being the government bank. But the private bond market, so a company, say Tata Motors wants to issue bonds in the market. That market is not really great in India. So, securities market is not only about shares. Shares are equity instrument. It is also about the debt instrument bond prohibits insider trading you understand that that is illegal by additional information if somebody is doing insider trading registration and regulation of the like in case of rbi it is banks here it is stock brokers like rv sub brokers share transfer agent bankers here means investment banker to issue and others entity same way, registering and regulating the working of depositories, custodian of the security, foreign institutional investors, FII, those who invest in com country and credit rating agencies, registering and regulating of the working of venture capital. So, nowadays, a lot many VCs are there investing money in so many startups. All this work also comes to SEBI, including mutual funds. So, any investment, any investment by any entity. So, you and me, we can do an investment, but maybe by exchange, somewhere SEBI is coming into the picture. Hmm? Promoting and regulating self-regulatory organization, SROs are there to help in the securities and capital market regulation. 
and promoting investor education and training of intermediaries of securities market so like development role rbi has for the financial inclusion and banking system here sebi is doing for investors education so that overall the market grows very very important responsibilities with these two organizations both are regulator of respective market rbi is an old entity managing the bigger space overall but sebi is growing very very fast as the capital market is growing now for your own interest you will be now saying okay this is about rbi and sebi what about me what i am going to get there so let me compare fast i'll go a little quick you when you join rbi so rbi is recruiting nowadays at grade b level earlier it used to recruit at grade a level so grade b level this is the basic salary but forget about it because this is a small amount written here in actual terms if you talk about in ctc terms so it will be depending on the city of posting it will be 18 to 20 lpa is lakh per annum that is how we write so this will include uh, your quarter 200 liter of petrol you know when this petrol price increased uh, so rbi officers has no problem because they don't get the fixed amount here rather whatever is the price so when the petrol was say 100 liter 100 rupees per liter it was 20000 rupees per month which is coming cash to your account no bills are required huh? it does not mean that you have to really spend this much on on petrol same is like telephone spectacles so many allowances are there in case of sebi grade a you join at a grade a level and all these salary are yet to be revised must be reading in the newspaper that RBI people are planning to go on leave, mass leave. It's a kind of indication to increase the increase the salary. So banking system already has happened. So you can easily add 20% to this. It may be at some grade 18 and it may be at 25-30% in some grades. So all these allowances are there in RBI and SEBI. Also in NABAD because these organizations follow the same kind of pay and tax policy. There is no death of funds in these organizations. So depending on the place of posting, there is some difference in the city allowance. But both RBI and CB, your posting is going to be in state capitals, in bigger cities. So Mumbai is the head office for both. And then you are mostly going to be in state capitals, big cities. Even CB's posting is primarily in Mumbai. I mean, state capitals, they have lesser number of officers. So that way you are going to work out of the bigger cities the working profile as i told you about all functions of rbi grade b you are going to work in any of these department and same way in case of cb also there are various departments as i mentioned about the functions in any of these department as per the requirement and over a period of time you develop some expertise you will be posted in respected department career prospects both why both places you have equal good opportunity because CB is not recruiting at grade B level. So it is not that somebody is coming directly at grade B level and you have then lesser chances. So CB you are joining as grade A, you will also go to say executive director level. In case of RBI also, only two people goes to deputy governor level and who are those two from your batch, your senior batch, junior batch, nobody can say, right? So you can say from grade, you join RBI at grade B, Grade F is Chief General Manager. Most of those who do well, they reach to that level. Most of the people, because CGM level also, there are large number of vacancies. Everybody gets the opportunity. Everybody does not mean that it's your right, but most of the people get that. So in case of SEBI, you will have to climb one more ladder. But because nobody else is entering in between, only you are there to climb that ladder. Initially, RBI salary may be slightly higher, but... If you have both the options, then only you have to worry this much. Otherwise, why not SEBI? In many respects, you may find SEBI's work is more interesting, especially if you have more interest in the finance. But now how to get into these, these institutions? These are extremely good job, very well paying and top most job in field of the finance. This is the exam pattern. Similar kind of preparation you have to do. Here also, you have to do QRE. Mark difference is different. I am not going to the detail. I have made detailed preparation video for both. But here I am trying to compare and I am going to conclude how this can help you in your preparation. 
wait for few more minutes and listen it carefully learn it if you have to listen it again please do so general awareness is there in both in case of cb these topic commerce and accounting management finance costing companies act and economics anyhow these are there in phase 2 so don't worry about that in phase 1 i'll come to how actually phase 1 becomes easier in cb hold for a minute and see the phase 2 exam then so in case of rba there is economic and social issue english writing finance and management 100 marks each from this year 50% is objective 50% is objective 50% is descriptive and same is for finance and management english writing is completely descriptive because you have to write here typing on the keyboard from here if you see finance economics and management are covered in rba also the similarity in the preparation i mean to say here it is qre ga all this and out of these six topics three are there in rbi for cb the english writing skill which is a paper here of 100 marks here also it is there carrying 33 percent weightage same 33 percent weightage is also there in the rbi grade b exam interview weightage 20 percent 75 marks interview here interview weightage is slightly less in cb grade a actually rbi has increased the interview weightage recently because they wanted to give more importance to the interview so you have to prepare more for that in case of cb if you score more marks in written exam so you can have more chances of final selection of course in rbi also if you score very very high in written exam you have more chances of the final selection we have published all these scores and many candidates those who scored very low they could also make it and there are candidates those who scored very high they could also make the final selection so all types of candidate do it is 80 percent of your hard work and some 20 percent of chance that time where you score higher so both sebi and rba grade b are great career opportunity if i compare phase one exam there is tough competition in rbi because in sebi phase one if you get this 40 percent marks you have to clear just 40 percent marks in phase one exam and you are then eligible for phase two which is not going to happen in rbi grade b exam because in rbi grade b you have to clear section wise cutoff and overall cutoff then only you are eligible for phase two these topics management finance and economics are common in both and companies and accountancy costing companies act will be new topic here in cb grade a so that you have to read additional in case of rbi on the same topic also so if it is economics so you have to understand from the rbi perspective the topics are there in both say monetary policy monetary policy topic is there in both levels but in rbi you have to go in deep because in case of rbi rbi is managing the monetary policy in case of sebi you have to go deeper in the indian financial system and in markets primary market secondary market there are so many details we have discussed in the syllabus so in case of sebi even if the syllabus is same you have to go deeper on the market side interview it is i discussed about that with this thought in mind you shall prepare for both the exam simultaneously i know you are going to ask when the notification is coming i have already covered that don't don't wait for that once the notification comes it is going to be much tougher this is your time take the advantage build your fundamentals for phase one phase two whenever notification comes make your selection all the best